Hello and welcome to University Center Newbury. My name is Ravinda Kaur. I am course leader and lecturer in electrical and electronics engineering at UCN. Today, a part of our focus on National Apprenticeship Week, I'm going to speak to one of our students who is currently doing an apprenticeship with us. Welcome, Harry. It's good to have you here. Hope you are doing well. And thank you for taking time for speaking to me today. I would like to ask you a few questions on how your experience is like during your apprenticeship at UCN. If you could give us the brief overview on what your company does and what is your job role. Hi, Ravinda. Um, yeah, so I'm a technician for a company called Diamond Light Source. And um, essentially what we are, we're a scientific research facility and um, we get experiments in from all over the country and Europe and use our facility as basically a large microscope to have a look at things in detail. Um, my role as a technician is to focus on the electrical equipment. So we've got a lot of bespoke scientific electrical uh, technology and I'm there to maintain and install it pretty much. It's very interesting as you're talking, looking at very, you know, microscopic level. Yeah. Yeah. So what motivated you to become an apprentice? Um, well, I started off um, my career at Diamond on a four year apprenticeship before the one I'm doing currently. And um, that was as soon as I come out of school, I felt like that was the best option for me. I wasn't necessarily I wasn't necessarily academic to a point where I'd uh, fit well with A-levels and university. So I thought I'd take a different route, a bit more practical and has a balance between college and work. So you can get hands on and then you can practice the theory on the side. So I felt like apprenticeship was just the most suited thing for me. Um, my degree apprenticeship, I took straight out of my uh, first apprenticeship because I felt like it was, the, it was the next step to continue mm -hmm. my education. Um, the, the degree apprenticeship seems like it's going to open up a few more doors than if I were to just do my apprenticeship and then carry on as a technician. Seems like you, you really enjoyed your journey. Yeah, it was, um, it was interesting. I definitely learned a lot. It's not, I wouldn't say it's a very normal job where I'm working, but yeah, it was, it was very interesting. Yeah. So what interests you most about your industry, the subject area you are working with? Um, so, like I said, uh, Diamond, the company I work for, is very science based. And through school, I was quite sort of interested in science, but I also liked engineering and uh, the practical side of things. So it's sort of it's a combination of both. And I think um, the apprenticeship I'm on now is really good because as a full-time technician I'm sort of my responsibilities pushed a bit more you know I can take control of my own projects and my own work but then I also get to study what I'm working on on a, a theoretical level at college as well so it, it's quite interesting just to you know get the practical side at work and then go into college and then learn about you know why these things work. That's really good that's really good it seems like really working well for you as well. Yeah, it's quite, it's the right sort of combination. I feel like for the way that I learn, and it seems like quite a lot of apprentices that it's quite a good, good way of doing it. You get the hands on and then you get the theory next to it. And, and what do you enjoy most about your apprenticeship? Um, I really like the balance between the work and college. It sort of breaks up the week quite nicely. You know, I get um, day release at college. I know some colleges do it on like block release, but I go in every uh, Thursday to study, so it sort of breaks up my week nicely because for the rest of the week I'm at Diamond uh, doing my full-time job and then I can get to go into college on the Thursday and um, do something a bit different. Um, I quite like how that theory as well in the HND that I'm doing ties in with my work. I feel like it sort of boosts you as a technician because you've got that like extra layer of knowledge that someone who hadn't done it wouldn't have. So, yeah. I think I think COVID-19 has been quite restrictive on what we can do, but um, mm -hmm. in a normal situation, I feel like I'd be putting myself out there to do open days and stuff like that, you know, different from your normal day job. 
Yeah, it's really, really good to hear. Yeah. How has the apprenticeship program, including any college or work based training, supported your career development? Um, so obviously doing my apprenticeship beforehand, I took part in a HNC, which I feel like auto automatically opened up options for me when it comes to finding a job after uh, the apprenticeship. But now I'm working on my HND, like I mentioned before, it sort of pushes you to that next level of being a technician. And um, I mean, I've, I've been working at Diamond uh, full time as a tech for just over a year now, and I've, I've already seen progression within that job. And I feel like that's sort of thanks to that uh, theoretical knowledge on top of the practical experience. So, yeah, I think I mean, you know, it's still early days, but I'm already seeing progress, which is which is promising. It's really good to hear. OK, so what do you hope to do once you complete your apprenticeship? Um, well, obviously, it's like I said, it is still quite early on, but I think I, I start I started this degree apprenticeship because I wanted to open up some more job um, job roles for when mm -hmm. I come out of the apprenticeship. So, you know, we've been studying like management at college and I feel like looking at that, that seems like a very uh, viable option coming out of it but in general I feel like I just want to develop my career more and ultimately get a better paying job as I come out of it. Um, I'm still looking into further education past that because you know there's more qualifications you can do yeah so you know I've, I've not made I've not made the decision yet but um, I feel like I'm, you're I've starting to explore your options that what yeah. more options could be and as you are progressing in your H&A yeah. you can see which particular area you're going to go and uh, with your degree project that will really, uh, you know, um, have that clear vision that yeah, what kind exactly. of research you want to take and which field you want to move forward. Yeah, that's it. That's exactly that. Yeah, no, that's that's really good to, you know, to have have um, that um, vision of where you want to. Yeah. yeah. So you've been apprentice for a long time. So what yeah. what um, advice would you give who is seeking an apprenticeship? Um, I feel like the, the steps coming up to looking for an apprenticeship can be quite stressful. I feel like it's important to, you know, stay calm and explore your options. That's the best thing you can do, because in this in this area where, you know, um, where we're at, so, you know, science and engineering, mm -hmm. there's a lot of options. So I, I think. If you're looking for an apprenticeship, it's important to, you know, look at all the options, apply for everything and um, pretty much try and open as many doors as you can. And definitely okay. don't turn down any options for like free education. That's a really good advice. That's a really good advice. Um, and thank you very much for agreeing to have a chat with me today. Okay. Um, and I wish you all the very best for the future. Thank you. And uh, best of luck for on your degree and hope you get the, you know, distinction as you normally do in everything. Nice one. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Cheers.